Hey everybody, Michelle here with Ide Bailey Technology Consulting, and it's that magical time of year again, time to file your quarterly 941. The 941 is a report of wages paid to employees, as well as the withholdings made by employers, and it also includes information on the employer's share of Medicare and Social Security taxes. The 941 forms must be filled out perfectly and mailed or e-filed to the IRS. Fortunately for you, your Sage 100 and 100C installation uses Atrix to help you make that process a little simpler. To get started in payroll, expand period end and click on federal and state tax reporting. If you don't have this installed yet, you will see a pop-up um, telling you that it has not been installed yet, just like that one. And if you click yes, it'll attempt to install it, but nine times out of 10, it's gonna fail and tell you to contact your system administrator. You can manually install it as part of your workstation installation. It's right there, install federal and state tax reporting. You can also call Ide Bailey and a consultant would be happy to help you. But through the magic of the internet, we're gonna bypass all of that and Alakazam, it's magically working. Here I see my uh, the beginning of my wizard. So I can choose the form type, federal, state, or an existing historical report. Come in and choose my form name. Let's choose the 941. You can see there's also the option for the Schedule B and the 941V report. Now, just a disclaimer, yours might look a little bit different than this. I am using Sage 100C version 2018, and it did change just slightly, but the processes are pretty much the same. Here, you're going to choose your year and the period you are reporting for. The information in the company box all came through company maintenance, um, which can be found in Library Master Main. If I choose, I can just do a selection of employees or I can use my sort field to help with that as well. When I hit proceed, I may or may not be prompted for a forms update. The forms from Atrix for the quarterly 941s are released on the 20th of the month prior to the deadline for the 941. So in this case, the uh, quarter one 941 release was on March 20th of this year. Um, now I'm taken into the company setup wizard. It verifies my EIN number, asks me if I'm using multiple payroll data files or just a single payroll data file. Again, validates the information pulled from company maintenance asks if I'm filing for my employer or if I'm a tax preparer. And then I'm taken to the part of, uh, of the wizard where it wants all of my local and state tax withholding information. So make sure you get this ahead of time if you don't already have it. Um, and then what type of, well, this is uh, very specific here, but if this pops up, just go ahead and fill out the information that you need and then it will take me to a form that I can print out just on plain paper. It'll help you walk through it. You can see the report steps telling you it's going to review and edit, print a copy for your records, and then you have the option to federal e-file or print the report. Telling me to please fill out the information in red. So here I would just go ahead and um, complete the information and click next through the steps. If I've missed something, it's going to pop up and let me know that I have got to complete that before I can move on to the next steps. If I ever get stuck somewhere and I don't have the information that's needed, I can do file, save, and then exit the report and come back in uh, through the same process and pick up right where I left off. And that's it. Now you know how to Start your 941s inside of Sage using the Atrix wizard. If you have additional questions, would like help, or need assistance installing the federal and state tax reporting, please let us know. Click the link below to get in touch.